I'm Doug Massey and today in this video, we're going to talk about selling final expense insurance on a part-time basis. And I'm even going to be covering whether it can be done or not, which, you know, is kind of questionable. We'll get into that, but we're also going to address what a potentially successful part-time schedule will look like and the type of personality that can actually do a one-call close telesale like final expense sales on a part-time basis. And check this out. You are are absolutely going to want a copy of both the free new agent telesales file and the thank you note that we, the, the agents that work with us at United Final Expense Services, actually send out to every single person that we sell. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how to get both of these for yourself. Yes, final expense insurance can be sold successfully on a part-time basis. However, the days to sell and schedule is going to be very important for this to happen successfully at least and to me successfully means you know making a decent living and please give the video a like and we suggest subscribing if you're new to the channel we're putting out new insurance sales content and final expense sales training videos like pretty much every week so what usually does not work when we're talking for like 95 percent of the people who try to do this is for you to finish up with your full day your regular job your nine to five monday through Friday job and then think that you're going to get on the phone for a couple of hours each evening and just like close some sales. The two main reasons that this is going to fail is one, you're tired. <laughs> That's really it. You've already put in a full day and you're most likely just fooling yourself. You ain't kidding me. You're fooling yourself that you're going to have like all this energy and enthusiasm left over at the end of the day to get on the phone and start closing sales. If you want to be successful at selling final expense and or life insurance over the phone, you're going to need to use a lot of your energy. You're going to be putting a lot of enthusiasm throughout each and every single presentation that you make. And your presentation should be going on for like 45 minutes to an hour by the time the sale is done in most cases. So your head has to be clear and rested and coming home from a long work day so that you can get on the phone and make a highly effective sales presentation. It ain't happening, dog. Second, the couple of hours per day schedule most likely won't cut it because if you want to make sales, you're going to need to put in the hours that it takes to get through the learning curve and make those sales. Assuming you're working with, let's just say, a lot of fresh and exclusive leads, right? So you got plenty. You'll probably need to make, I want to say, around two to 300 dials per day. Look, I know that sounds like a lot, but that's the reality for most of you guys. Not, not in my agency, but it's different. And you'll also need to take the time necessary to get that momentum going. So what kind of a part-time schedule will work? An effective schedule for a part-timer would be to work, I want to say no less than like three full days per week. So we're talking like minimum of eight hour days, preferably three days in a row too, and not including Sunday. Uh -uh. For face-to-face -face final expense sales, yeah, door knocking on Sundays can work. We have a face-to-face -face agent who prefers to grind it out in the field on the weekends and he does pretty good on Sundays and basically Saturday and Sundays. So, you know, it just seems he's able to find a lot of people home so it works. But with remote sales, with telesales, I feel like we're already getting more excuses than what your typical belly-to-belly -belly agents are getting. So to me, those Sunday sales are going to be a lot harder, you know, basically to get in and, and you're probably just better off just enjoying your Sunday with your family. You need a day off anyways, right? Instead of spending the time smiling and dialing. I mean, you do need to get some rest, right? Think about it. How else is your mind going to be clear and how else are you going to keep your body and, you know, mind and your soul intact? At the beginning of the video, I did mention that it takes a certain type of personality, at least I alluded to that, to be successful at one call closes, final expense life insurance sales. And really the most transparent statement that I'm going to make about this today is as follows. Most people have no business being in a sales industry where you have to eat what you kill because it takes time to learn the skill set and master the art of really persuasion and sales. Having said that, allow me to share 
share a story about a gentleman that tried to work with us and basically quit like halfway through his first week. He was in his 50s, my age, had never experienced one call close sales in his life, unlike me who's been doing it for 30 years, not insurance, but one call close sales. Guys, we did everything we could to get him prepared for his first day, but that never really happened. He didn't do like the work or spend an adequate amount of time preparing for that first telesales day. And that's what he did, telesales. So he was really bad. I mean, horrible. This guy was so bad that the prospects could hear the fear and insecurity in his voice and were just getting rid of him and or basically hanging up halfway through the presentation on his better presentations if the presentation even got that far. They, they pretty much weren't even allowing it. He did not handle rejection well, and it really got under his skin. Even worse, he couldn't sit still and wouldn't do the work necessary to push through the rejection, you know, and, and the no's. You get a lot of no's when you're new. A lot of people are gonna say no, no matter what. That's how it is. And of course, according to him, it was my fault. It was our fault. We must have been doing something wrong because these people were telling him off and didn't want to speak with him must be the leads. Gotta be the leads. Wasn't him. Uh-uh. Oh, oh, no way he would look inside. And here's what happened. Instead of taking a hard, deep look at himself and doing the work internally to push through the learning curve, he blamed the leads. He blamed the system. He blamed me. It was everybody's fault. He blamed the clients. Everybody's fault except for his. So one, if you're going to be successful at this business, you better know enough about yourself, you know, your own personality to understand whether you'll be able to handle all this or not. Two, you're gonna need to put in full-time hours before you start, before you start to sell, just to prepare yourself so that you don't sound like a complete moron on your first day. And three, the learning curve is different for everybody. Guys, you know that. Everybody has a different learning curve. Some are just faster than others. Me, I'm a slowpoke. Most people who try to sell final expense and or life insurance products on a part-time basis will never get through the learning curve because with most systems, no matter how strong they are, the agent's just not able to speak with enough people in a short enough period of time, which is why we don't mess with part-time agents. It's just the truth. We know they're just never gonna get through the learning curve. They're probably gonna get in debt before they do anything. That's just the simple fact. So again, is it possible to be successful at selling final expense insurance on a part-time basis? Sure, look, it absolutely is. And here's the way I see it. Is it possible for you to win the lottery, the jackpot? Of course, but for most that try it, it ain't gonna happen, dog. Nuh uh. For a copy of both the free new agent telesales file and the killer thank you note that we leave with all of our face to face sales and that we mail out to our remote telesales clients, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. If you'd like information on working with us full time only on our remote sales platforms, like either the independent agent platform where you can get like all these appointments on the very first day or the subsidized free leads platform where all the leads and appointments are actually exclusive, just shoot me an email at that same address. As always, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else is usually going to fall right into place. So do your thing, guys. Get out there. Get that headset on. Whatever happens, make sure that you do something good for someone else today. Happy hunting.